one of my favorite things that I've ever bought at the Real Real is this trench coat from Max Mara. It cost me $200, but in the store it was $850. And I know this because the jacket came new with tags. So it's possible to really score big at the Real Real. Like this jacket is something that I wear all the time. It's such a staple for me. That being said, things can also go wrong. And I know this because I've ordered from there about 10 times before and I've had some successes and I've definitely had some fails. So if you wanna have the best experience possible and avoid some of the mistakes that I made, then keep watching. And if you think this video is going to be helpful for you, then give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to see more videos like this. When it comes to shipping, there are definitely pros and cons. On the good side, it, they ship internationally, so you can order there from so many different countries. On the downside, it's really expensive. <laughs> um, when you order from the United States, it's going to cost you $11.95. When you're shopping from Canada, it's going to cost you $30. It's a little worse. If you're shopping from the Middle East, like for example, I had something ordered to Israel, and that cost me $50. And on top of that, if you're shopping internationally, then you can get charged duties and taxes, etc. when UPS drops the item off to you. Like on some websites, you pay everything up front, so there are no surprises when the item is delivered. But with the real real, unfortunately, you can end up paying a lot more than you would have expected if you're not shopping in the United States. But I actually do have a good customer service story. Um, one time I ordered something to my friend in the US who was going to bring it back to me where I was located. Unfortunately, I made a typo in the address that I was sending it to, and he never got it. So I had to contact the Real Real and ask them to send it to me internationally, which they did, and they didn't charge me an extra price or anything. So that was good. I've ordered from the website about 10 times in the past, and in most cases, the item that I've received has matched the description on the website. But there have been a couple of cases where it didn't. One time I ordered a sweater and there was a stain on the sleeve, which was not described on the product page on the website. There was another time when I ordered an extra large cardigan for a family member, and it should have been women's size, but when it was delivered, it was children's size. This is what happened. I contacted them, I explained the situation, they gave me a full refund after I shipped it back, and they also covered the ship shipping fees when I asked them to. There is a risk of getting items that are faked. Sometimes these things can slip through the cracks. I'm pretty sure it also happens at other designer resale websites. If you're gonna be investing a lot of money in something, I think it's just important to be aware of it. I have heard that if there's any issue with the authenticity, you can send the item back. Um, I actually came across an article on Forbes that was pretty interesting about someone who bought a fake Dior bag. So I'm gonna leave a link to that down below. Different items can have different return policies. Each product page is going to have a section where you can view the return policy for that item. I believe that items that are on sale for more than 40% off are not eligible for a return. The same thing with handbags. In most cases, you can return the item for a full credit card refund. The exception is, if you do get something that wasn't as described or is not authentic, then you'll get a refund in those cases. It's easier to buy certain categories of items rather than others. I learned the lesson the hard way when I bought a pencil skirt. Never buy a pencil skirt online because I think it's one of those things where you really have to be careful with the fit. Like the one I got is so uncomfortable. It's loose in the waist, it's tight in the hips, and even, t even after taking it to a tailor, they couldn't fix it. Another category of items that you could have issues with are shoes. I remember buying a pair of sandals and the ankle strap was just so tight. I have no clue who could ever fit into this shoe. Generally, I think it's better to go with items that are looser as opposed to more fitted. And jackets are really excellent. Belts are also really good and so are scarves. Have you ever been shopping online and you've added something to your cart, but then right before you're about to check out, the item is out of stock. Someone bought it before you. If you want to avoid that happening on the real real, what you can do is sign up to their membership program. That way you can view items before anyone else does. You'll always have the best selection of things to get. I think it costs $10. Another thing to keep in mind is that they post new items two times a day. Once at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and once at 7 p.m. And I just want to say, if you're finding this information valuable so far, please click the like button. 
one of the things I do love about the Real Real is that their prices and their selection are excellent. I would actually say that their prices are lower than any designer resale website that I've seen. On top of that, they also have promotions a lot of the time where if you spend a certain amount, you can get a store credit. I think they have that going on now, and because we're transitioning from summer to fall, you're also going to see some end of season sales. If you have any questions that I didn't cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help. As you can see, when you're shopping at the Real Real, things can either go right or things can go wrong. And I hope that my experiences have helped you know what to expect. Thanks so much for watching, and please like this video if it helped you, and also subscribe. I'll see you next time.